Thank you for your patience. This is your first 2020 vision weekly oracle reading, weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Hi guys. So thank you so much for your patience. I know I usually get out the, get this video out on uh, Wednesdays. Oh, no, on, on Wednesdays, but um, I've just been t taking family time and I'm really enjoying it. So Leo, this is your uh, weekly oracle and tarot card reading. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do click subscribe, help the channel grow. Um, this is for Leo sun, moon, rising, wherever Leo influences your chart, your natal chart. You can take these energies and, pl and apply them to that section of your natal chart for the next seven days. This reading is energies for the next seven days. Whenever you see this, the time is right. And there are so many videos under the weekly videos that you might want to take a look at. So go uh, stroll through that, uh, that, that playlist, the week ahead video playlist. Leo, 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 sun, moon, rising, sun, moon, rising. Remember, if the energies do not fit, don't squeeze it. <laughs> Just don't do it. Not everything applies, Leo. Not everything applies. Um, all right, we do have some cards out. Let's see if we get a crowning energy. Crowning energy for Leo. Oh, there you go. Crowning energy for Leo. It's weird, that one slipped out the other side. That one slipped out the other side. There might be some unexpected occurrences coming at you. Leo, uh, reclaim your power. Something is hidden. Something is hidden, something is hidden that may be draining you, that may be bothering you, or you can feel something coming. You can feel something coming. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but it is a bad thing that you can't put your finger on it or you don't know what it is yet, but you can almost feel it in the shadows lurking. Um, something is imminent. Something is, um, I don't know if it's watching you or you're trying to get an eye on it, but it's a notion, a feeling that there's something more than meets the eye, something going on that you can't put your finger on, um, something that is subverted. <sighs> what could this something be? Give me a second. What I know, just because I'm empathic, is that this feeling is uncomfortable for you. So if you're feeling on end, Leo, if you're feeling on end over the next seven days, it's because of this energy. And it is something there. But it's it's growing larger and it's it's impeding the way how good you feel about yourself or how comfortable you are because it's taking over a part of your mind. No, 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 not like possession and stuff, but it's it's there all the time. It's it's bothering you and making you distracting you. It's a distraction. It's a feeling that's a distraction. So you're not just distracted. I'm trying to think if it's the distraction itself that's actually draining you. But I don't think so. I think for the most part, there is a feeling that something is coming. And the thing is this, Leo, it's this idea of, you're right, you're right. An acceptance of, yes, something is coming. But what can I do about it until it gets here? Because the drain on your feeling of being in power, the drain on your feeling of being in control of your life is that want to tackle something that isn't even there yet. And you can't. So this is your challenge to go one day at a time, step by step, one foot in front of the other. That's what's actually going to bring you back into feeling in control of yourself because that's really all you can control. It's that reminder that the only thing that you absolutely at the end of each day can control is yourself. And yes, something is headed your way, but you'll get to it when it gets to you. That's all you can do. This is a big reading. So there's a lot here and I'm, I'm hoping that this card, I know, just, <laughs> I cleaned out my Christmas tree and I'm, I swear there's needles in my bra. Be peace. Finding balance, finding inner peace. And this is the challenge, is to find this inner peace. This is, you may be dealing with a Libra, but this is an energy of a reminder to settle yourself and to balance yourself out. Um, a sentiment of, 
Wait, this could be what's coming in. Let it shine. Let your feeling of balance shine. And I think that this is going to restore your power. And it's also with whatever is coming. In other words, it's almost like this sense of balance is being projected forward. So that whatever is hidden in the dark can't get to you. So what that means, Leo, is when you feel balanced, when even though you feel something coming and you're unsettled, you hand it over, you let go, you, let, you relinquish control and say, I'm not in control. That's why I don't feel in control because I'm not in control. Someone else take the wheel and I, all I can do is just be here now. And let, when you shine that out, it's almost like you're letting everybody know they have no power over you. Because the only time people have any power over you is when you allow them to make you worry and make you be afraid. So something is making you worry and making you be afraid. But in order to draw yourself back in to happiness, you just have to take your balance and take your peace and let it shine, like put it first. And that's actually probably what's going to draw out this element. Watch and wait. Wow. If these cards aren't perfect for each other. Um, that's what it is. It's almost like, let your let your offer you know maybe you you may have just offered up peace to somebody you may have just offered up reconciliation you may have just put forth an idea to somebody and offered to them ask them if they're interested in doing something with you and you can feel it looming and that's you feeling them thinking about it or watching or getting more information and wondering this could be as simple as you put out um you put out applications for a job and you can feel like this, this looming, this lurking of people considering you or, or contemplating or, or there is a decision or an announcement yet to come and you're waiting and all you can do is be peaceful. But I think there's another, th there's, an, there's a higher energy here. It's a more tremendous energy of seeing how somebody reacts to you being happy. That's how you get back your power. You watch to see somebody react to, or, or you forget about their reaction entirely, and you just be happy. And if they want to watch you, then you let them watch you. It'll come out. It's the, and, and eventually what's going to happen is this is going to expose itself. Dream the world into being. Something is hidden here. This is something from the past, somebody, somebody or some person or some any that energy that's been thinking about you, ruminating over you, not wanting to let you go, not able to let you go, or this could be vice versa with you being that energy. This is something that is, is gone and over and finished, but it's not dead yet. And there's an issue of somebody not wanting to let go. So somebody wanting the past to be part of their future. This could also be the energy of waiting for a decision to be made that will influence your future. A decision of a question, a decision to or toward a question that you asked in recent months and over the next seven days, you're wondering when is my answer coming? Because you want the answer. You wanna know somebody else's position on something that you proposed and it's looming, it's hanging there. You're wondering, and you can feel something coming. It could have something to do with uh, poor health. It could have something to do with being afraid somebody's not going to be very well for long. Um, you know something is on the horizon, and it has to do with letting go. But it's not here yet. The problem is the fear is here, and the fear doesn't have to be here because it actually doesn't serve you in any capacity. Believe in yourself. Keep working hard. Keep focused on the 3D. This is earth energy, Virgo energy. Keep focused on the future. Fo plant your seeds for the future. Even if something is trying to haunt you from the past, plant your seeds from the for the future. It is the cure and that is your stronghold into letting something not control you. Like not waiting, just keep moving forward with what you're working on and watch. And I think that that's part of it is like your energy of progress, your momentum of, well, okay, I'm just going to carry on as if I've gotten the answer that I want to get. 
just keep carrying on and actually make plans for it. And you'll see how you influence those energies to actually fall into place for you. Interesting. Uh, take time out. This is protective energy. It's also, um, things aren't going to be easy. There's a little bit of a, not hardship, it's going to be challenge. It's going to be challenging. It's going to constantly be in your face, making you want to give up and making you want to quit. It's going to be a bear of a chore. It's going to be difficult, but it's also the difficulty is also going to challenge you and strengthen you because bear is strength. It's power. It's power of the spirit. And it's, it's, in other words, this card is here saying this time is going to be intentionally challenging for you. It's trying you on a deep level in order to see how badly you really want something. And this is the cosmos right now. Fair and beautiful and protective, but also extremely aggressive and extremely challenging. It doesn't move. It's almost draconian in its expectations. So keep working. This Virgo energy is the perfect way to solve the energy that's in the cosmos right now. Work every single day. Wake up, work. Ma wake up, make your bed, go to work. Wake up, make your bed, go to work. Like keep doing what you're doing. There's a huge breakthrough coming. Because if you can beat out this energy, or if even not beat it out, but wear it out and wait it out, wait it out. And I think that that's going to be your bear. That's going to be your challenge this week is to wait for something, is to not be aggressive, is to have patience. Keep working, keep being diligent, but to keep, have pa keep having patience. Because what the answer that you want, the answer that you seek is not here this week. And there's, it's going, it's, it's intentionally, this reading is here to tell you, it's intentionally trying you. It's intentionally ch testing you. If you don't get the answers that you want, are you going to keep going? Are you going to stay on track? How strong is your conviction? Or Because it's, it, it's a weakening. It's a, it's a warning that the cosmos is trying to weaken you, to test you, to see if you really want something bad enough. If it can play on your mindset of, but I need to, I, I want it now. I want it now. I, I, I need the answer now. I know that, I know that they're thinking. I know that the answer is coming. Well, I want it now. And that's draining your energy. Thinking about what isn't here is draining your energy. So thinking about what is here and thinking about the kind of the future that you can influence by your actions is the cure and solution. Hold on. Watch your words. Oh, there's going to be a temptation to pop off with what you have to say. In other words, frustration here. Accusations, persecutions, attempts at being in, attempts at being in control by screaming and yelling. In other words, anger or tempers can be flaring this week because you're frustrated and because you don't want to wait anymore. You may be on the verge of, or somebody may be on the verge of, saying something that they don't mean. Be careful of that. Bring your ideas to life. This is all your grounding energy. So keep like, this is like magic. This is like alchemy. This is like, it's alive. This is you. This is you. The actual alchemical transfer of that energy from, from the ether, from thoughts, from ideas, from, from creativity into actual tangible productivity. That's your focus. And that's your, that's your healing source this week. This and that are true. Acceptance of things that you cannot control. Stay shallow. Stay on the surface of the water. Play. That will help you as well. Dance and sing among the waves. Just enjoy this moment. Enjoy this right here, right now. This is a very balanced energy as well. You don't know. In other words, you don't know. There is going to be ambiguity this week. You're not going to get the answer that you want right now. So what do you do with yourself? Play. Be fun, accept, accept, there's this acceptance that you are not in control, relinquishing that sense of, I need this, I want it, I need this or else I can't do it. Be here now, in the moment, 
and thankful for what you have. But beyond that, both sides are true. Both things have merit. Understanding that. Understanding, seeing the other side of the story, taking this time before you get the answer or before you go into the confrontation to almost, in the traditional tarot, hang man it and see things from a different perspective, see things from their perspective. You're being given this lull intentionally to give you that opportunity. To see things from somebody else's perspective, you see clearly now, whoa, wisdom and access to um, sympathy and understanding of somebody else's point of view, seeing in the dark, seeing through the confusion, seeing through all the muck and, and things that other people can't see, seeing what others can't. This is Aquarius energy, wisdom. Using your wisdom and your experience and your patience to be able to see in the dark things others can't see. Because something is already there, but you're not going, it's not just going to come to you. You're going to have to spot it. Ooh, slow and steady wins the race. We have more very practiced, very controlled, but also very happy energy. Right? This is Cancerian energy of this could be somebody coming towards you, but they're taking their time. And the reason why they're taking their time is because they need it. They need to get their shit together. Or they may say something that they don't want to say, that you don't want to hear that would make things worse. This time is for a reason. It may seem like a waste of time for you, but it's actually for the best of reasons. So that when you do confront this circumstance or when it finally arrives, it's ripened and ready and matured. Ooh, I love this energy, Leo. I really do. And then we have these three cards. Be playful. I'm not surprised this card showed up with in the presence of dolphin. Be playful. That's your solution. Your grounding energy is to just have faith and believe in what you can control and use your wisdom to understand that that time Time that's passing is part of this recipe. It needs the time to be to see clearly like the hanged man and to mature to the point where it can handle the emotions, right? Right now, this is your solution, your key. Be playful. Act in the moment. This is think on your feet. Just improvise. And that's how you overcome any obstacle. So what's the obstacle that you're going to be overcoming? Well, let's see. I'm going to do a full tarot card spread and go into your romance reading for the next seven days. I will... Leo, the link is below. I'll see you on the extended.